Hey, this is Keith Everett and uh, from I love to be social.com and what I'm going to show you in this short hangout is uh, how to remove people from your Aweber list, how to remove subscribers. Now I'm talking about subscribers that are inactive. So why should you remove inactive subscribers? Well, you're actually paying for those people on your list and as you go on, you accumulate people who probably just opted in just to get a free gift or a free video, you know, to look at a free video, whatever it was, they, they, some of those people gave you um, a false email. So you'll see lots of people not opening your emails. And what happens is, is as you accumulate more and more people on your list, you'll find that your open rates are probably going to go down because you accumulate more and more people who also do not open your emails. That makes sense, right? So the way to increase your open rates and the way to increase, um, no, you not, not keep paying for these people that are on your list doing nothing, is to remove people from your list that just don't open. Now, I'm going to show you how to remove people from your list who haven't opened an email in four months. Four months is a reasonable amount of time, especially if you're emailing every day, for you know people to, to decide to open an email or not. So four months is the is the time period, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share this screen and show you uh, one of uh, my my autoresponder accounts. This one is Aweber. And we're going to take some people off of off of this account. I'm going to show you how we do that. So you can now see my screen, hopefully, and you can see there's you know a couple of thousand people on this screen, and um, not on this screen on this account. And here's what we're going to do. We're first of all going to designate which list you want to remove the people from. There is a facility on here to be able to remove individual emails from all of your lists in one go but not in a bulk fashion like we're going to do now so we do need to go to each list individually so here's one of my lists on here called perfect social and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to subscribers manage subscribers And you see it comes up with select fields. So what I'm actually going to look for here is I'm going to look for people where it says no opens. Okay, so it's going to show me no opens since. Now remember I said to you what we'll do is we'll remove people who have not opened an email in four months. That's quite a long time. That's, a, that's 120 days. Okay, so over on the right hand side you see this little calendar and it shows you today's date. Well, today's date is Monday the 12th of May when, when this video is being made. So I'm going to go back four months and that should be January 12th, 2014. Okay, so that's the first thing. People who haven't opened since the 12th of January 2014. Now I'm going to add another criteria here. So I click this green button which says add. And it brings me up another field. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for people who actually were added before that date. Which makes sense, yes? Because we don't want to start removing people who were added after that date. So I'm just going to click date added. Date is before. Now it's got to be before the 12th of the 1st, okay? So 12th of January. So I'm going to go back to January 12th. And both of these fields are now going to be the same. So people who haven't, o haven't opened since January 12th and people who were added before January 12th. Then I'm going to click search. 
Now this particular list had 511 subscribers and 87 of them, see that look, 87 subscribers have not opened in four months. So these are the people that haven't opened. Uh, so quite simply, I'm going to come here where you tick that box and that ticks all of the emails and I'm just going to click delete. That's all I do. Click delete and they've all disappeared. That's all of your people on that list that never opened an email uh, in the last four months. Now the actual open rate, the success rate on this list is now going to increase. So you will see a better open rate because you've now got rid of people who just don't open emails. Now I said this was going to be simple and it is. So if you've got several lists, you're going to need to do that with each list. All right. So just a quick recap. We find the list on Aweber. We come over to subscribers. We click on manage subscribers. Let me do that again for you. That brings up this select field. So we're now going to look for no opens. And what we did was we selected people who never opened in the last four months. OK, so I just clicked the mouse in the box and uh, it's the 12th of uh, 12th of May today. So I'm going to go back four months to the 12th of January. All right, and then I'm going to add another field here, which is uh, people that were added. So date added is before the 12th of January. So let me just do that. That's it. And then when you click the search button, you'll get up all the people who did not open your email in the last four months. So that's how you clean your email list. You don't want to pay for people on your list that are not opening your emails. You know, what you want to do is every now and again clean out your list so you've just got people on your list that actually are opening your emails. And that will, it will save you money for a start because you won't be paying for people that are not doing anything. And also, it will increase your open rates and it and inevitably it will increase your click rate okay hope you've enjoyed this tip if you have click the link under this video wherever you see it and um, do share the video appreciate that bye for now